Hello Mayfield, it's Brandon with your daily staff devotional. Pray this video is finding you safe, sane, healthy, and as happy as can be expected in these trying times. I'm used to having a guitar and a music stand between me and you, and now it's just phone or computer screen. So you, me, and my Bible are going to dive right in. My day job, if you will, is as a nurse. And there's two very important things when I'm presented with any new patient their past medical history, and my physical assessment. In other words, what happened with them in the past and what's going on with them right now. As I was thinking about those two things this week, I was reminded of some of the Apostle Paul's words. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and Ephesians 2 are where I'm going to be reading today. So we're going to start in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. Flipping over to Ephesians chapter 2, starting in verse 1. And you were dead in the trespasses and sins in which you once walked, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath like the rest of mankind. There's our past medical or spiritual history. But you were washed. You were sanctified. You are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. But God, being rich in mercy because of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. That's part of our current spiritual assessment. Let's read a little bit more in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 8. For at one time you were darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light, for the fruit of the light is found in all that is good and right and true. And try to discern what is pleasing to the Lord. That's our current spiritual assessment. We were darkness, now we are light in the Lord. It's tough right now to find ways to be light when we're stuck in our homes, but it's possible. And we've seen many ways that people are reaching out to others and uh, sending videos or cards or buying groceries and having them sent to their house. We need to be the light that Paul says we are now. Don't forget where you came from because that's important to know how much God has done for you, to know how much that grace means that saved you. But also remember, your current spiritual assessment is important. How's your heart? That's my challenge to myself and to you this morning. I pray that it is well with you, and I can't wait to be back in worship together. God bless.